Ben Roethlisberger has come out on the record and stated that his camp is him, his wife, his trainer, and his agent. Ain't nobody talking to anybody. Now, we learned a lot about Ben because a member of his camp, him, told his testimony to a church on Zoom oh, that immediately got released the next morning by Adam Schefter because somebody from within the house of the Lord on that Zoom decided to strip Ben of all of his privacy right. and ruin his life. That was where we learned <laughs> about Ben's forearms and everything of that nature. Uh -huh. But this offseason, just a week ago, we learned that Ben was eating stricter than Tom Brady, yeah. that Ben Roethlisberger knew his weight was a problem. It's what he's focused on since the beginning of off season. Then we were told by Brooke Pryor that he didn't make any drastic changes. So now we're starting to wonder the shirt that Ben wore to camp that said different written out on there. In that jawline we could see, is that just a fresh fade and a fresh cut oh. beard? Does he not look different at all? Was that us just believing and buying into the stricter diet than Tom Brady? Ben Roethlisberger spoke to the press afterwards. No, we don't have it. There it is. Now it's up. And we have it. There, there are reports coming out of my camp. And my camp is my wife, my agent, and my trainer. And I know that none of them talk to that person. So I'm not really sure where that information came from. Um, but like I said, naturally you do. You, you, you work on your diet. You work on exercise. And you have to do everything you can to get yourself ready to play this game. Um, at this age and um, for this many years, you, you find ways to do it. But some things get exaggerated a little bit yeah, from no golf problem. analysts. So no. And so he didn't, hey, from the golf analyst, we didn't change. Took a shot, right? We didn't change anything, and I didn't talk. So that nope. was just a, that was a troll breaking news. It's a shame, though, because I thought we were going to get a new Ben. Are we getting, uh, are we going to get the same old? No. no. Bop and Ben. That's fine. I mean, he's a consistent Pro Bowl or two-time Super Bowl champion, three times Super Bowl. I'd be fine with the same old Ben. Led the league in passing two years ago. Yeah, I'd take him. Okay, 11 wins straight. Sorry, yeah, 11 and 0. You take him. I mean, let's everyone forgets that last year he was coming off a of Tommy John season, did not have an off season. Ben's got a full normal off season. But nobody really had an off season. He might have had like a better off season than everybody because he actually had doctors around him in the quarantine. He couldn't throw though. No, Tom, Tommy John couldn't throw. I thought I saw him on a yeah, basketball promo. court. Yeah. Him, and he was on a, a plane. No. 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 Wasn't he throwing a towel at some point? I was James. Yeah. I'm sure. I thought they all do that, every quarterback. Yeah, yeah, it's easy because it takes a little strain off your arms a little bit less. You still got to get through it because the pow, uh, towel won't pow if you don't. Mm -hmm. The towel won't pow if mm -hmm. you don't. Because if you just accidentally, it won't pow. But if you throw it, that thing will pow. You know what I mean? <laughs> pow. Got to snap it, right? You got to get that snap. Pow. Yeah, because it, it doesn't really – you were one of those guys, weren't you? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Never. Yeah. Yeah. But you were. Yeah, yeah. You, you definitely. Were. You had the old Sandusky snap, I bet. It. <laughs> oh, so. no. I didn't play in any of the locker room games in any of the sports that I played. AJ in. has an actual name for the move that he has. I didn't know that. Yeah, he just mm -hmm. called it the Sandusky yeah. flop. I mean, honestly, I just came up with that as you were. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, so buddy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. pal. Big Ben Roethlisberger has lied to us. He didn't change his <laughs> diet. What's that all about? You don't think he looks different? Yeah, I think he looks good. It might be good. Uh, might be a good haircut. And whenever I looked at him for the first time, I was in the mindset that he changed his diet to be better than Tom Brady's, which is remarkable. I thought I found that to be absolutely befuddling, but he did it. And then he just said, "Nah, I didn't do anything." What are we talking about here? Sam <laughs> Ben Roethlisberger's back. I mean, I actually looked up online. I heard earlier in the offseason that Roethlisberger changed his diet, and I looked up online, and there were four different times over the last like fifteen years that there had been Roethlisberger changing diet stories. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just leave that alone. <laughs> oh, Ian, <laughs> come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Looks good. I mean, I'm ha he looks great. I'm happy for him. I, I like Ben. But what, what's next for you? I mean, look, uh, you know, I'll tell you what. One of my friends texted me after seeing the picture. Brady should walk into training camp with a shirt that just says same. Ooh. Whoa. That would right. be quite a dunk on yeah. Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> yeah, that would be, be quite a dunk. Now, here's what I'll say about Ben, though, in all seriousness. I thought last year he looked not obviously great at the end of the year, but a year from surgery, really major surgery, I think this year will be better. Like I think, and the Steelers should be a really good team anyway. Like I think he's going to have a better physical year this year than last year, just because he's a year removed from that major surgery. Like I, you know, diet wise, I don't know. The guy looks good. You know, if you're into if you like big dudes. Um, but I think he's going to have a good year regardless. Yeah, I mean that's going to be a tough division. We'll see how it goes.